Alright folks, welcome back to Let's Play Romance of Three Kingdoms 10 on the Mysterious JG. Um, the last video was the last one I recorded before coming back to Afghanistan. Now I've been back in Afghanistan for a few days, I'm picking up the game again even though I'm way far ahead. There's been like, I think, at the moment, the first of the two Tsao P tutorial videos is what I've actually received comments and feedback on. And I apologize for getting so far ahead. It's not ideal, but it's really, unless I record uh, as many videos as I can when I can, there's no way I'm going to be able to maintain any kind of regular pace of videos. Now I'm looking at the map here and trying to figure out who the greatest threat is. Tsao Tsao clearly has more cities than Shi Grimoth, but Shi Grimoth has just been really aggressive. He seemed to be sitting on his hands until getting rid of Ma Tang. It took him a long time to get rid of Montaigne, but when he did, he's been striking out at me constantly. And, um, let me tell you something, folks. I, I played a little bit off-screen. I just wanted to try something out um, that was kind of a long shot, just playing around with it. And, um, I realize it's not fair to do that, because if it did work, and then jump all over it and use it. But, at the same time, I just wanted to, to, to do a little bit of off-screening and experimenting with things. And I discovered that, um... If Zhou Yu doesn't directly interfere, Chengdu and Ji Tong are going to fall within the year. I mean, I shouldn't even say within the year, before the end of the current year. We're in October. In the next two months, Shi Grimoth will take both of those cities if Zhou Yu doesn't personally take action. Cao Cao, in that same period of time, comes down and builds a camp at Cherby, which to me is like, it's insulting. I'm playing as Zhou Yu. I'm going to let Cao Cao have his way in Cherby, but I can't afford to lose two cities over here. So what I was thinking about is what I want to actually do uh, to try and oppose Shi Grimoth, who, like, AI Shi Grimoth has just gone on the rampage, came out of nowhere. Clearly he's not as big a threat overall as Cao Cao, although I don't have his troop counts. It might be bigger than I realize. He may have built up, like, built up his cities to the maximum size before moving against Ma Tang. Uh, I do know the troop count in... Uh, Liu Qi's last city, he's got his gates built up as much as he can and he's got almost the maximum troop count a city can have. Which is why, uh, that's the reason why nobody has attacked him. But, um, there's really two cities that are threatened by Grimoth, Zhitong and Chengdu. Over here, uh, Chai Seng, Jiang Yang, Jiang Ling, and Changsha are all cities that could be potentially be attacked by Cao Cao. So what I'm thinking about doing is what I don't have now that I've had a past playthrough of this game, something I haven't used yet, are towers. I used to use towers a lot. Tower units, basically towers are a weapon that you can give to any unit. It turns them basically into a long-range archery unit, no matter what their unit type was. So the great thing about towers, if you build tower units, if you build towers as a weapon for infantry or for bows, you can put them on the walls of your city and just shoot with extra range and you get more attacks per turn than bows would normally get and just basically kill, like brutally kill huge swaths of enemy troops while they're trying to take your city walls. You Mongolians, you stay away from my shitty walls! So I want to do that. Sadly, you can only build them in certain cities. The only city I've got that's even close to the front line that has the right facility is Jiangzhou, which I've never personally held. It's held by it's being run by Cao Nin, and as you can see, it's still a small city. He hasn't even built it up to medium size, which is what's needed before you can get a machine yard. Now this city also has a foundry, which means that if I get this to being large, it can build the regular weapons, which are um what are they again? Battering ram, tower, and catapult. It can also build two additional weapons of, um, <laughs> you're gonna like this, folks, Juggernauts and Wood Oxen. Wood Oxen, bitches. Thing is, what well, game is, my computer started to fall asleep for a second. I don't know if that you're gonna see that or not. But yeah, the Wood Oxen, and the Juggernauts are really not that useful that, I, that I've ever seen. Um, certainly not useful at all in city battles. They're somewhat useful in open field battles. Wood Oxen are kind of fun, and I'll certainly build them if I can, just because I want to be able to go, Wood Oxen, motherfucker! But, um, now, the key to victory here is going to be the towers. So, but here's the problem. Well, for one thing, Grimoth... Feng Zhe'er is on the march towards Chengdu, and he will take it if we don't interfere. I know that from 
ex checking on something else off screen, but time passed, and I just know that uh, Top Hat Raptor here in Chengdu, he's got 83,000 troops, but he cannot hold off this attack. Probably because his defense is too weak. Ji Tong also fell. I'm a little surprised by that because it's got full defense. So what I'm worried about is that if I come over here and, and I, if I came over here, even with its tiny little force, I could personally intervene in any attacks Shi Grimith makes and defend my cities. The problem is that I'd be leaving the heart of Wu at the mercy of Cao Cao with only my generic off-screen adventuring guys to defend it. I would love to be able to... let's see... I've got twice as many cities as, as Sun Tzu. And he's, his, his policy for himself is developed territory. Unbelievable. I'd love to be able to, to give him some of these cities, because that means that they would request for reinforcements from Sun Tzu when they're attacked. My cities won't reinforce each other. They always request me to reinforce them. So... What happens if I select this city? Select a city! I can suggest that he take over some of these cities. Is this a good idea? Maybe not. I've got 14 cities and he's got 6. So if I gave him 4 cities, we'd be even. And I think if I gave him these cities, if nothing else, I could... A. I could feel like Sun Tzu is responsible for them. And B. I could... Uh, if I finish off Grimmeth before Sun Tzu gets raped by Cao Cao, at least I'll be in a position to... I can come over here and try to, to retake anything that was taken. Let's suggest this. I'm going to suggest this. I'll keep 11 cities. You keep uh, 9. You've made a proposal for district reorganization. My lord Sun Tzu has refused your proposal to reorganize the district. He's like, no man, I just want to hang out over here. I don't want to have to do anything. Wow. Seriously, Sun Tzu doesn't want to do shit. Sun Tzu will not take over responsibility for anything. And I don't think I have the authority to create a new district. I can try to take cities from Sun Tzu, but why would I want to do that? I'm already having a problem with I can't run a district this big by myself. So wow, Sun Tzu is truly worthless to me. I mean, if he just was willing to take Chai Seng, that would be a huge help. But asking for the same thing over and over is clearly not going to change anything. So let's... Let's do something which might be a little crazy. I'm going to try and uh, move out of here and take over this city. So that I can build it up and start building weapons. And I'll be behind the lines, but hopefully I'll be able to come out and aid any cities that are attacked. Now this means I'm going to have to rush to my new home. And my computer will continue to fall asleep. What the hell is this? It wasn't idle nearly long enough for that to happen. What's this here? I got 200 gold. Cao Zhui's troop, Cao Cao's army is advancing towards Chirbi. They're just there to build a facility, like a, a fort. So it's embarrassing that I'm going to allow that to happen, but that's what's going on. Officers waiting to make their reports. My deeds have risen by 11, but as you can see, my deeds have actually maxed out. So at this point, 
we can lead an attack on Fang Jair's troops. All I've got to help me is Cheng Gong Ying. I've got about 5,000 troops, well, about 6,000. It's really nothing. And I'm not going to request reinforcements. I'm just going to ride up, because he's going to be attacking the city when I get there. And hopefully this will just mean... I offer my assistance to blah, blah, blah. Hopefully this will just mean that I can get in there and manually run the show. I'm certainly not adding enough troops. Oh, they're already inside the city? They're already inside the city. This is awful. Well... Kinda don't know what I should be doing here. Cause I don't know where the enemy is. Do I? Oh, I know. Okay, I do know where they are. Fang Jair! Gao Jian, Liang Yu, Kuai Yi. I don't think those are all created officers. Some of them might be. All right, well, Fang jair has been lured out. Because he's strong, but he ain't that smart. Sorry, Fang Jair. Well, now that is a created officer. So I'll go guard this entrance here. Hey, I'll cheer up some guys. And then move over here, I guess. Here's my personal bow unit. But I think what I will do is direct someone else instead. So they get close enough to attack this guy. See if I can get them to come up here into the pit to attack me. That'll be fun. Hey, Schwan! See if Shun Schwan can entice anybody to attack. You're Feng Jair's subunit. You should be as dumb as he is. Yes, you are. You have been fooled by the master strategist Shun Schwan. Here's a teeny tiny horse unit. That's gonna hide. Who will enable for the enemy year? Teeny tiny horse unit is, of course, the unit that I brought with me. Top hat raptor subunit. How could they have lost the uh, the battle at the city wall so quickly? That's what I want to know. Oh, you guys might be in trouble if they decide they're the main force is going to attack this way. Drat, a pit! You are not a skilled pit fighter, apparently. Can you direct? Yeah. Alright, well... Master Liu P, I'm gonna do stuff. Oh, it comes over here and has no movement point or action points left. Beautiful strategy, JG. Just masterfully done there. Luckily, Falger is able to pick up the slack. This one's for Sweet Cheeks Marie! E? Oh! Fell into a pit, haha. Huh, huh. You suck. So hopefully the computer will continue to just kind of generally herp a derp. Because we've got a slight advantage now, but I really don't want to lose a ton of troops here because this city's gonna have to, you know, take care of itself in the future. Now sadly, Sun Xuan is not really able to uh order troops, and he took a lot more 
losses that he inflicted, so that kind of sucked. And he wandered into range of those guys that he infuriated, which I kind of forgot about. That was stupid of me. Nice fire there wouldn't be a bad thing if it stopped them from being able to move effectively. Woo, it looks like the troops have calmed down. Woo! Another semi-useless foot unit here. Let's try to kill Fang Jair's unit, or, um, yeah, Fang Jair's units in the hopes that, uh, That will eventually... Uh, man, I'm losing a lot more troops than I'm killing here. Now I can walk on a pit hex safely. I think we've got this battle won. It's just that it would have been nice to... Um, to win it with very few losses. And I don't think we're going to have that. It's much harder to prevent some losses in these city battles. Alright, Falzer. Probably should have gotten you working on this before, but it's time for you to take these guys out. Wow! A guy who doesn't have a hundred war. There's no way he'll agree to a duel with the mighty Falzer. Who doesn't have a hundred war either, in fairness? There we go. Top hat raptor. Good tactical command there. Zhou Yu will follow your example. Master Falzer, it's not your fault you guys totally would have failed if I wasn't here. Thanks, buddy! You really made me feel better. Ass. Okay, so, this is already going a little bit better here. Why don't you get up here and do this where you won't get hurt? Let's keep Schwan someplace where he won't get hurt. And now you... We've lost the trees. We cannot stay hidden any longer. But we can f almost kill ourselves, but finish these guys off. We got Maj Yu, who is one of Ma Tang's dudes, I'm sure. Oh. So what do we want to do here? Let's... Oh, these guys are up on a cliff. Let's see, what is this? Some place on the screen. Mountain 3331. Okay, no wonder I can't shoot them. Well, I'm not really sure that I want to uh, change that. I'm trying to draw me out? I don't think so. I'm Samurai Warrior, dude. We're not easily fooled. Okay, I better kill you guys before you uh, finish off that uh, cavalry unit over there that I really shouldn't have let get so close to you. Well, if you guys want to hang out on top of a cliff, that's fine. You guys can party up there all night long. Ow. Okay, let's see. What do we want to do? Let's finish these guys off. got a little bit of attack command left, so let's direct, uh, I love the direct command. Let's get you guys to take a few more pot shots at those archers before it turns into, uh, just trading blows. And we'll just pull back here, and frankly, if you guys just want to hang around on that cliff, we're not gonna, f we're not gonna stop that from happening. Like I said, I really want to avoid heavy losses here, so I'm not going to take the fight to them. If they want to sit around and 
let time expire. Hey, there's that camp has been built. I knew that was coming. And we can head over here and cut that guy off. He goes, no, oh, okay, I'm Alright, you just uh, hide out. No, not auto. Damn it. Tactic. Ambush. I accidentally chose fire. That was the problem. Okay, now they're coming back out. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to help our friends. Which ha happens to be one of our subunits, so we can't just let that go. Then we'll try to set you on fire and fail. We will also try to set you on fire and we'll really fail because we don't even have the missile command. Missile command! Get it? Okay, well these guys are essentially cut off. There's no way they're getting through unless I am forced to pull troops out. Bulger, you are now f far removed from the action, sadly, but... And you'll probably stay there because I'll be using your turns to direct other units rather than move you. But you're still useful. Anybody with a direct command is useful. I should never have told you guys that Warlord was a silly skill to have if you're not the player character. Because it's been really useful, the characters in my army who have Warlord. This might not go that well. No, it went okay. I figured because this is has an officer and this is a subunit, but... No, it went okay. This is awesome, because I can even command Top Hat Raptor's unit. I'm the only one who can give him orders, because he is supposed to be in command of this battle. You know what? No. Just in case we can capture him. Let's try to do this. Yes! It was worth it. And let's see, what do we want to do here? If we move in here, we'll be in the range of a lot of units, but... They're all Fang J or subunits, which means that there's no special order in which we'd want to finish them off. I really wish he had the direct command, but okay, whatever. No use complaining. There's an actual officer here, so let's do, uh... Let's do the same thing. We'll just, uh, launch a couple of attacks, get them all the way weakened, and then try to capture them. Yes! Excellent! Now, I'm not going to execute these guys, because I was shown mercy by Cao Cao's general, of all people. So it would be kind of hypocritical for me to start m m mercilessly, brutally killing uh, off the warriors of um, She Grimmeth. But it's still kind of tempting. We must not allow this chance to pass us. Press the attack. Hey, just where were they hiding? Hey, that the tactic actually works. Missile Command! Yes! Fire actually worked! We're setting fire in our own city, that's how fucking crazy we are. Okay, Falger, if we're gonna keep that cavalry in alive, you're gonna have to go in there and do some fighting. Should have used Unison Command, probably. Now it might be time to start making a move on uh, their cavalry after all. Now hopefully the 7,000... Uh, good. I was hoping the 7,000 uh, bows would not get a chance to just attack that cavalry unit at will. But Falter can make sure. 
Bowser should be putting his life on the line to protect those. I'm, I'm, I'm now imagining there's like this great friendship forming between Falzer and uh, whoever that guy is, uh, Chang Gong Ying. I'm gonna be like, Chang Gong Ying's gonna like totally usurp uh, uh, the clinch and uh, and that Grimgore guy. They're like, yeah, it's like, oh yeah, they're good guys, but I'm not as tight with them as I am with Chang Gong Ying. He's my main man. He's my main man, man. Uh, soon, <laughs> soon Schwen does not need to be getting in a duel with Fang Zayer. <laughs> doesn't need to be getting in a duel with anybody, really. And doesn't really need to be leading troops, if this is any indication. Okay, you just hide again. And hopefully this time you'll be left in peace. It's obvious now that I should not have sent Sun Xuan after that cavalry unit. Because he's just given them something to do, which is to attack him. I was tempted to do something about that situation, but I think I'll just continue beating these guys. He can uh, scare them, maybe? Okay, so they're not afraid of Sun Xuan, which is probably wise. <laughs> but at least if they attack... Oh, no! He wandered right into a pit! Excellent. Oh, well, Falzer. Can render them harmless. You guys can start heading back this way. Because the enemy kind of flanked me a little bit, but I... I mean, they flanked me, but at the same time, I, I knew that they don't have enough firepower to actually finish off the, the main facility there. I would have been a lot more conservative about my troop placement. These guys are the threat at this point. They do a lot more damage with their attacks on facilities than the archers would. But I'll go ahead and keep attacking everybody. At this point, it's pretty obvious I'm going to win. That may have been a mistake, because the flames could potentially spread to my facility, but the wind is blowing in a direction where that shouldn't happen. It'd be pretty sweet if we could capture Fang Jair here. But again, unless they're actually willing to join me, I'm not going to get much out of capturing these officers because I'm not actually going to uh, execute anyone. So it's down to you, Fang Jair. Do you think you can take the city by yourself? That would be a trick. 370. It's about 400, so let me do about four more. Oh, that's exactly how many I can do. And that will leave them with almost nothing? Which means our best bet now is to surround him and do unison attack. His, I don't know whose turn is going to be next. Can he do unison? No. He can do charge, though. But he cannot direct either. So let's hope that Zhou Yu gets the next attack. Zhou Yu will get an attack before uh, Fang Jair does. There we go. 
All right, Fang Jair, you may well. This is the, this is everything I can possibly do to maximize my odds of capturing Fang Zayer here. We've surrounded Fang Zayer's main unit. Attack! Cannot be. I cannot believe they beat me. It cannot be helped. Must retreat for a time. Didn't capture him though. But we have wiped out the enemy commander's unit, and this battle is ours. Don't know how Top Hat Raptor screwed up the the city wall defense battle so quickly, but uh, we basically butchered them in the city. Uh -huh. So that's good. Top honors go to Top Hat Raptor himself. Falzer gets 807, and Mai Jia gets 440. Who is he? Was he the guy with the uh, Japanese helmet? I see first honors go to me. Second honors go to Falzer. Yep. I'm trying to think of a Falzer quote that's appropriate here, and I'm drawing a blank. Yeah, that's right. He's a uh, Japanese helmet man. It's the captured Lang. Okay, he's he's releasing them because he was in charge of the battle technically. So he's uh, going to release them without me getting a chance to say anything. But I was just I was going to release them anyway. All right, folks. What we're going to do is we're going to call that a video, although I'm still, I'm not certain at all that this is a good idea. I'm going to start using save slot 9 here in case I need to go redo this whole thing. Which would be cheating, but you know, whatever. So, um, yep, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, we've defended that city successfully, and we defeated a sizable number of Grimmoth's troops. So at this point, I think I'm feeling pretty good about the fight with Grimmoth. I, I should have time to build up this city and get some um, towers and stuff. The big problem is going to be if Cao Tao completely crushes my dudes while I'm too far away to do anything about it. And we'll have to see about that in future videos. This is Mysterious JG. I want to thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.